This video is brought to you by Big Idea Design. If you're not familiar with them, they make really useful gear that you'll want to carry and use every day. They have things like the Bit Bar, which is a pocket screwdriver with a bit selection hidden in the handle, or the TPT and TPT slide, which are utility knives that also have tools built in. And they also have pins like the TI Arto EDC, which works with over 750 inserts. And my favorite, the TI Pocket Pro. They are all made out of titanium and built really, really well. To learn more about Big Idea Design, use the links in the description down below, and you can also use coupon code BESTDAMNEDC for $5 off any purchase over $50. And if you do so, you'll help support the show. Oh, that's good. Welcome back, everybody. It is time for another EDC Weekly, and it's been a little while since I've done one this late on a Thursday. It is 3.15 p.m. Anyway, just as an update, I have not picked a winner for the last week's EDC Weekly giveaway winner, uh, just because there are hundreds of comments and I haven't had a chance to go through them yet. I will go through all of those comments while I'm away for the holidays. And there is a current giveaway going on right now over on Instagram. It is an Instagram only giveaway because my friend Mark over at Arc Company, his account was hacked. He lost 7,500 subscribers. That was his main marketing tool for his business. And he does make EDC gear. In fact, I've got some right here. Mark sent me a package full of some of the stuff he makes and it's worthy of praise. And it's really unfortunate that his account on Instagram was hacked and Instagram is not helping out. So this is what I'm giving away over on Instagram. This is a slip that works with a Swiss Army knife. It'll hold an I3T EOS, a Fisher Space Pin Bullet. Just threw this together for you, and this is a good representation of what this will hold. It's actually maybe jammed pack a little too much, but I have a Kaiser Feist, a Traveler's Company brass pencil, and a copper I3T EOS in the green version of the Rambler. He also makes this wallet, which is uh, nylon and leather. It's really neat. I like it, I've not really seen one like that. And he also does a slip with a pin loop on the side. His account on Instagram was hacked and he had 7,500 plus followers. That account's gone. And uh, when I started this giveaway for him, he had 200 followers, he's back up to almost a thousand now. And the whole point of this giveaway was to raise awareness about his account getting hacked. That was his main marketing tool for his company. So I just wanna help get him back on track and uh, right that wrong because he, he didn't deserve it at all. He makes cool stuff and Instagram is not really helping him out. So I just wanted to get you guys to help get him back on track because he's a good guy, his stuff's great and he didn't deserve it. So if you want to win one of these in black, I am giving away a black Rambler. Uh, just go over to that post on my Instagram Follow both Best MEDC and ARC underscore company. Like the photo and comment and tag two friends. And at some point, I will choose a random winner. With that said, it is time for another EDC Weekly. And this week, I'm doing it a little bit differently. The EDCs that I'm featuring this week include gear that I want, stuff that's on my wish list. But I also asked you guys over on Instagram yesterday what you want to add to your EDC. And I will be reading your responses from that Instagram story question. So let's do the thing. The very first submission this week comes from Jay, who we've actually featured before. His Instagram handle is J underscore does underscore knives. Really, this features a lot of stuff that I want or have. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. First up is the Chris Reeve Unumzon in Tanto. And on that is a Millet Knives clip. Below that, you see the Das Ophenemer Gun Duck Wallet in Quick Draw, which means it has a pocket on the back. And above that is the Great Eastern Cutlery 47 Viper in Gabon Ebony. Gabon? Gabon? I don't know how that's pronounced. To the left of the photo, you see the Hitch and Timber proper slip, and on top of that is the Hinderer Investigator Battlefield pickup finish. To the right of the photo is the Keybar Crosshatch in Titanium, and then beside that is the Brassworks BW Pry Bar in a three inch version. There you go, some really high quality, expensive gear here. This is a fantastic dump. The things that I want from this list one, a clip on my key bar. I would probably carry my key bar if I had a better clip on it. I don't like the, the clip that comes with it. I'd prefer to have a deep carry clip or one that's like this. And I've been dying to get my hands on a great Eastern cutlery knife and a Chris Reeve. I've heard from some people that they're kind of overrated, but also from the other people, they're like, it's a fantastic knife. 
I'd like to try one at some point. I just haven't had the opportunity. That pin looks interesting, but I am also very, currently I'm very happy with my my own personal pin. Anyway, Jay says, been in the EDC hobby for two years and this has come to be my favorite carry so far. Chris Reed Knives makes the knife right and I think the Zahn, the Zahn, it's like calling pizza za. But the Zahn shows this is the best, plus the Tonto is just badass. I have a soft spot for traditionals and the Viper gets used a ton with its super pointy worn cliff blade. The rest is just some top quality leather, the most carryable pin ever made, and a key bar. The Pry gets some use as well for popping tops off some cold ones. The thing I've learned about my carry is I love things that can show wear and use, like the blasted finish on Chris Reeve knives, worn leather patina on carbon steel, and even worn Cerakote on a key bar. These things make a carry unique as well as showing pride and use in the tools we use. And yeah, and that's the thing. A lot of people mention that people here don't use their gear. I think that's twofold. I think there are a lot of people who submit to the show who have a lot of gear and mix it up a lot and it doesn't get as much use as somebody who uses the same knife every single day. But also it's about showing your love for the gear and the creators. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's two-sided. I have a lot of gear that looks like it's never been touched, but I do use most of my gear. I use some things more than others. Anyway, I'm getting into the weeds. This is a beautiful carry. I really truly would love to try some of these things out myself, like a Chris Reeves knife or a Great Eastern Cutlery knife and uh, maybe a different key bar because the copper is quite heavy. Anyway, thank you, Jay. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Next up is Caden DeNike, DeNike, DeNike. No, no clue how to pronounce your name, but their username over on the website is Dejected Uncle, and that's hilarious. Anyway, first up, we have the Benchmade 940 at the very bottom of the photo, and below that is the Benchmade 319, or the Sheep's Foot Micarta proper. His flashlight of choice in the top right of the photo is the S1R Baton from Olight, and he carries a Field Notes notebook inside a Rob Brazum Field Notes cover. We had one of those last week. Weird, I've never heard of them until now, and now there's two of them on here. Inside that is also a Fisher Space Pin Bullet. To the far left of the photo is a Bradford Claypool watch. And then on the right of the photo, again, is a titanium pocket clip with his keys. And on that is a Benchmade Field Sharpener. That's something I've never seen on the show or at all in any of the submissions is a sharpener. Most people don't carry a sharpener with them, uh, but it makes sense. That's, that's not one of the best sharpeners ever, but being able to sharpen knife on the go is uh, quite nice, I guess. The gear in question here that I would love to try is a Benchmade 940. That's something that I've been eyeing. I've added it to my cart and removed it from my cart so many times on Amazon in the last week alone. It's just a really nice looking knife. I love the reverse Tonto look of it, but below that is a Benchmade proper. And yes, I've been carrying a proper in a proper slip for some time now because uh, subscribers sent me this proper, but like I said, when I got this, I wasn't huge on slip joints or even this knife in particular. The sheep's foot proper was not on my radar. I saw it and I was like, okay, that's cool, I guess. But no, it's grown on me a lot. But once I noticed that this came in a clip point with a micarta scales, I had to get it. And uh, I did yesterday. I've been talking about buying the clip point micarta benchmade proper for a long time now. And uh, yesterday I actually bought it from Puff over on the Discord server, and you can find him over on Instagram at PuffPuffIG. That's what inspired this whole thing for this EDC Weekly, it's the gear that I want, and uh, he posted that thing in the classifieds over in the Discord server, and I was like, I gotta get it, gotta get it, jumped on it, and now it's on its way to me. So thank you, Puff. Anyway, Caden says, my favorite piece has to be the Benchmade 940. That knife was my first intro into great EDC knives, and it has been with me for three years, still my favorite knife of all time. There you go. I've heard so much praise about the Benchmade 940, and it comes in a few different versions. The one that I've been eyeing is the, the I guess the original, just the 940 with the green scales. I'm on a green kick right now for some reason. Hey, thank you, Caden. You now have a second entry into the December giveaway. Next up, we have a submission from Liam Moran. You can find him over on Instagram at Liam underscore M9. This submission is a bit of a change of pace. So first up here, we have the Cross Classic Century 0.7 millimeter pencil. And then underneath that is a Field Notes notebook. To the right of that is the Fisher Space Pin AG7. That was the original astronaut's pin. And then in the middle of those three things is the Titaner 2-inch Titanium Grappling Hook from Blade HQ. The watch at the bottom of the photo is the Citizen Promaster BN0150-28E. I hate watch model numbers. They're so horrible. And on that is an Autillet NATO strap. At the very top of the photo is the Helvet Holsters Large Carbon Fiber 2.5 Wallet 
and there is a titanium clip on that. Below that is the Zero Tolerance 0350 ST9. Below that is a keyboard in carbon fiber and titanium with a deep carry clip. Next to that is a Romeo e Giulietta 3 cigar. And then to the right of that is the Apple iPhone 7, which he carries in a D-Buzz carbon fiber case. And finally on top of that is the Zippo NASA Apollo program lighter. What really jumped out at me about this photo was the zero tolerance knife. This is the one, if I were to buy a zero tolerance, this right here is probably the one I would get or the one with the tiger stripe blade. I don't remember the actual model number of that one. Or maybe the 0450 because it's very similar to the Benchmade 940 with carbon fiber scales. Also, the Hellbent holsters is something that's been on my list for a while. Liam says, I have a business making custom furniture such as Muskoka or Adirondack for Americans. Chairs with team logos primarily for local sports teams, including my rugby club on them. This is what's in my pockets from the lumber yard to the gym to the coffee shop. You can follow my business at 416 Furniture if you're so inclined. The notebook is used to sketch and show clients potential ideas for custom furniture and to jot down notes such as materials needed, grocery lists, and doodle occasionally with a pencil and pen. Grappling hook is used as a pill fob, no spikes inside for daily vitamins and fish oils. That's a really expensive pill container. It's like $40 and they make like $5 pill containers. Even titanium ones are cheaper than that. The watch is just a tough diver that I can depend on. Never needs a battery because of eco drive movement and the NATO strap is more comfortable and cooler looking than the stock rubber strap. Wallet used to hold credit cards and debit cards, Victorinox Swiss card and cash, receipts, etc. Knife is big and no nonsense, which I need to open packages of hardware, bundles of lumber and string and rope mostly. Key bar for house key, bike key, USB key also from key bar and little fill with flathead screwdriver. Cigar of the day turned out to be a three Romeo e Giulietta number two, which is a nice medium beginner cigar and Winston Churchill was a fan of the brand. So that's pretty cool as well. I like to have a cigar with me on my lunch. Sometimes I also enjoy it with a glass of scotch because I'm self-employed and I can. You're here. Phone case is a simple thin faux carbon fiber case from Amazon, which is really all I need. Zippo is from Kennedy Space Center in Pensacola, Florida when I was there for vacation. And it's very cool. I use it for my cigars as well as to singe the ends of string and wrote. Very neat, very cool. You've got some gear that I'm eyeing myself. Uh, thanks for sharing, Liam. You now have a second entry into the December giveaway. All right, this next submission is a little special. It's from Walker Kellogg. And Walker Kellogg, uh, some of the people from Discord know that I've been talking about magnetic keys. I haven't made a video yet. Um, they're actually, I think, waiting for me in my PO box right now. But magnetic keys is a product that's on Kickstarter right now. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's a new take on a key organizer solution and it is magnetized keys. Hey Ben, magnets. Our patent pending design incorporates magnets into each key, making them instantly more attractive. Do you like that? Magnets. Well played. Thanks. They stay silent, organized, and compact, leaving room in your pants for more important tools. Dick joke. You get blanks. You order blanks from magnetic keys. You have them cut at Lowe's and they just snap together. And when you want to flick one out, they literally snap out as if it's like a flipper. So first up here, we have an Apple Watch 3.0. Next to that is his phone of choice, which is the Apple iPhone 8 Plus. His flashlight that he carries is the Phoenix P35D TAC. Inside that is a Nightcore 3500 milliamp hour 18650 battery. In the bottom left of the photo is the Sea Angel Trifold wallet, which it says is 22 years old. Beside that is the Leatherman Charge TTI with rebar pliers. So I imagine this is a customized TTI. Next to that is four magnetic keys. And in the top right of the photo is the Eternity key for a LX470, which is his car. So that is a specialized key fob for his car. The bottom right of the photo is a custom made meteorite wedding ring and, and the bottom of everything is his favorite cashmere scarf. So the thing in question here is the magnetic keys because as soon as uh, Walker reached out to me before the Kickstarter launched, he showed them to me. I was like, hey, that's a pretty neat idea. It's something that I've not seen and it makes a lot of sense and it works for everyone because you can just get your keys cut as long as they're a pretty standard key. A pretty neat idea. I'm really excited to go to the PO box and pick those up. Um, but the other thing is the Leatherman Charge TTI. So from Leatherman, all I've ever had is a signal, a couple skeletals because I lose them, uh, Leatherman Wave, and that's, I think, it. And the Charge TTI is probably at the top of the list of ones that I would like to own. I've got enough multi-tools as it is, so I've never bought a Leatherman Charge, but, but also there's a limited edition out right now. It has bluish scales on it and a Damascus blade, and it is, it is sick, but it's also 300 bucks, so 
Nope. Walker says, the Stingray wallet is practically indestructible, came with a lifetime warranty. It's easily the longest lasting $65 I've ever spent. The meteorite wedding band is made from a slice of the Gibeon meteorite and the melted down wedding bands of my wife's great grandfather's. Thanks for the consideration, Taylor. Thanks for submitting, Walker. I'm glad to see you here. Thanks for letting me try out your product before the Kickstarter ends. And uh, if you are interested in that, I will link the Magnetic Keys Kickstarter thing down below so you can go check that out. But there will be a video on Magnetic Keys, I believe before the end of the year, definitely before the project ends over on Kickstarter or the campaign ends on Kickstarter. But. Thanks again for submitting Walker and you now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The fifth and final submission this week comes from Ruggaroo. That's all I got to go on, Ruggaroo. First up here, we have the Emerson Knives CQC7, which is in the top left of the photo. Next to that is the Seiko Sumo watch. The wallet you see next to that is the CL Carbon Life money clip. And in the top of the photo is the Microtech UTX-85. No stranger to that here on the channel. The firearm you see in the bottom of the photo is the Smith & Wesson Performance Center Shield MNP9. And he also carries a CY Supply Co holster, which is not pictured here. Bottom left of the photo is the Wilmot Knives Beard Offender. And then finally, not pictured here is the Apple iPhone 10, which was used to take the photo. Ruggaroo says, I don't use these items in any particular way. I just like them because they carry light and comfortable. The Emerson CQC7, my trusty blade I carry daily. I wear this watch in a rotation with an orange Crepus loggerhead. I don't know what that is. Not a watch guy, but the black dial of the Sumo goes with anything. I love it. The CL Carbon Life money clip. I carry this when I don't feel like carrying my carbon fiber ridge wallet. It's winter. I'm always wearing a jacket or sweater, so I'm always keeping the UTX85 in the pockets. The Smith & Wesson M&P9, it's light and carries comfortably with anything. I carry it in a CY Supply Co. holster that isn't pictured. My Wilmot Knives Beer Defender, I always carry that because you never know when you've got to pop open a beer. What is in this picture that I've been eyeing? I've been eyeing Emerson Knives more and more recently, um, especially actually this knife. The, uh, the CQC7 is one that's high on my list. And the Microtech UTX, 85. I'm not a huge fan of the idea of an OTF knife, but I'd like to try one before I knock it, you know? I just don't have the $275 to spend on an OTF knife that I'm not even sure I'm gonna like. I don't really wanna start on the low end with like a cheap, crappy OTF knife because then you don't really get the feel for the real deal. Anyway, thank you for sharing Ruggaroo. And Ruggaroo has a second entry into this month's giveaway. Okay, so that's it for the EDC Weekly. And thank you all for submitting. Anybody who was featured in this video does get a second entry into the December giveaway. However, I did say that I was gonna read some of your responses from the Instagram question that I asked. And uh, let's do that now. The question I asked was, in light of the holidays, the theme of tomorrow's EDC Weekly is gear I want. What one piece of gear do you want to add to your EDC? And there were a ton of responses. First up, we have the SAK Collector. Great Instagram account, go follow them. He said, Lion Still Dom Micarta. Yes, 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 a thousand times yes. I want a Lion Still knife very, very badly. And I want the Micarta with the clip point and it is really tough to find. 875 FPS or John Smith says, Damascus Sabenza 650 or Damascus Pioneer SAK. $1,000, holy crap. <laughs> Sam Greenmaker says, Oakley over the top sunglasses. Hard pass, <laughs> hard pass. Holly VBD, VDB says Benchmade bug out. That is a very popular answer in this list. Pops FPSB says Bellroy micro sleeve. Justin Young says Great Eastern Cutlery Beer Scout Knife. Yes. Benchmade 940 Osborne. Yes. Again, Benchmade 940 is probably one of the most popular answers on this whole list. The slide version of the box cutter you carry for the TPT slide, that's from Twisted 16. Um, brass or copper, Keras Customs ink fountain pen from Lloydzilla. Good grades, but I'll take an Oppenol. <laughs> Good grades, nice. Viking Funeral says a Nintendo Switch. Highly recommended, but the game's selection is just okay right now. Della Ryder says Kaiser Feist. Kavian Rin, what? I don't know your name. Brass Zippo with Thunderbird Butane Insert Classic Soft Flame. So actually one of the things I got recently, it was actually a brass Zippo with a Thunderbird Insert, but this is actually a torch. So it only stays lit while you're holding the button. I did that on purpose. Um, but yeah, Butane Insert, so it never runs out. You don't have to fill it up every single week. Um, but also if I wanna light a candle, I can just kinda point this thing down and it shoots the flame towards the wick, which is, 
works perfectly. I thought it might work. Uh, I tried it out once and I was like, this is awesome. You just like shoot flame towards the wick and it lights almost instantly. It's so great. Ooh, Rion the Goat Meow says a bench made with good QC. Oof. <laughs> Ouch. Daniel says a girlfriend. Ouch. These are too real, man. I want that green and gray bug out real bad. That's from Noah Bannock. Or a bag of $100 bills. Yes. One will XR. Yes, I would love to have a, um, a boosted board or a one wheel for sure. For sure. TM Davis 94 said, just added it, but it was the Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. That is a nice knife. And those things went fast. They're all sold out now. All gone. Actually, I was talking to Vox or, or Jesper earlier today, and uh, I was talking about maybe doing a feature on Giant Mouse, but I would have to fly to California. Um, so that's a long shot. It may not happen, but I was talking with him earlier, and he said it sounded like a pretty interesting idea. So uh, if Jesper's on board, he told me to talk to Jim from Giant Mouse. So if I talk to Jim and he's on board, I might make it happen. Uh, here's a good one from JK Country EDC 84, a Benchmade North Fork. That is one of the knives I was looking at for quite a while before I really got onto the uh, the Mini Crooked River and the 940. But yeah, I would. I love knives with wooden handles, and there are not enough folding knives with wooden handles. There just aren't, and uh, that's a really great one. But that's gonna do it. Thank you all for answering the question. I was just kind of curious what you guys did want. Like, what is some of the most popular gear that people want out there? I just wanted to know what your thoughts were because I talk about what I want a lot, and I want to know what you guys want too. So thank you for answering and uh, thanks for watching the video. If you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you're interested in anything that was mentioned in this video at all, it'll all be linked down below. If you click through those links, it helps give us a little kickback and help support the show. And if you want to support the show in another way, you can go to patreon.com forward slash best damn EDC. You can find us around the web on Twitter and Instagram at best damn EDC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on. My eyes got really dry. <laughs> See you guys.